everyone, I'm from Joyful Loom Maker, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a rainbow loom cloven bracelet. It looks like this, and you may not have heard it before because it's my own design, so it's new. And if somebody already has this design, just tell me in the section of comments. So, I also have a white one and black one. So first, the materials you'll need is a rainbow loom, and this doesn't really matter a lot, but there is there is fake ones and real ones, and here's how you you can tell. So the fake ones, the fake ones, they wouldn't have writing on the back because you see it's like engraved on it. It says rainbow loom, and it also has a red arrow. And then the fake one would not. So the real one would have a red arrow. And then printing. And here. Like right there. Because the fake one, it has sharp edges. These, and um, they're rough surfaces. And they haven't been through, well, toy checking or something. So they may have lead in them. So you should be careful. Anyways. So first, you'll need the hook loom in a staggered formation, arrow pointing away from you, and some bands, some for the side, and that, um, it's this right here, so I'm using black, and some for the middle, which is the, these, and this time I'm using purple and yellow. Let's get started. First, you'll need to get your outside color and place it here. From here to here. Or here to here. It doesn't really matter. Now, you take another one. Go up. And keep doing that till you reach nearly the end of your loop. But not exactly. Stop here, and then when you're done here, go to here. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm done putting all the bands. Well, almost all of them. So now, I just put this right here on the middle one. And then go back to the starting point. Get another side color. Put it up. And then keep going like that, just like we did on the other side. Okay, now I'm back and I'm just placing the last band toward the center peg. Okay, now it should look like this. And so, now you take your first color of the cloven which is like the first one you want, which mine would be the yellow color, yellow, and place it from the arrow, the one just below the arrow, the peg, to the one that's above the arrow, the first one. Now, you take another yellow and place it like this. Basically, you're just making an arrow. Now, you take another yellow and then put it to that peg. So first you go from here to here, here to here, here to here, and then here to here. This really does look like an arrow, so, but it wouldn't work. Like, it would look the these are not sharp, so this is the last part. Now you take your next color, which mine is purple, place it on, going forward from the point of the arrow you just did. Now, you may have find that you skipped 
okay because you'll be going arrow here arrow here but that's okay don't worry this is like this one and then it's a uh, peg is meant to be skipped yeah so arrow here Purple here, and then straight up diagonally, and straight up. Last band, more purple. Oops, that is black. So, right now, I'll be showing you this pattern one more time, and then you're gonna have to look back or remember it so take your next color place up place like that like that like that like that and last but not least, that. So if you still need help doing this, just back up a bit. Back up a bit. It's all the same pattern throughout the whole way. Just keep doing it until the arrow point is here. So you should pause right now to keep up. Hi, I'm back, and I'm just putting the last band on to my arrow. Now it should look like this. It's like you're pointing that way. Well, that way, the arrows are all pointing that way from beginning to end. Now, you place the cat band. You take this, make it a figure eight, turn it upon itself, and then put it on to this. Now, if you turn your loom around, so now the arrow is pointing towards you. All the arrows are pointing towards you. So, it's hooking time. Go to the Mary, the pegs closest to you, and now we start hooking. We go in here, and then get the first purple band, the one that's on top. Press the cap band down and put it forward. Now go down again and find the new first band, purple band, the top one, and hook it from where it came. Do the same thing with the last purple band. Down the cap bands. Ooh, something happened. Okay, so I fixed my problem. It's this one. It fell off. It's actually a bit of a tricky one. You should be careful. But a tip is, when you know what happened, it's easier than just to take it all off. And it's easier if you try to fix it than take it all off and restart. So, now we're here. And we get... Go, okay. Go below this and grab the first or top purple one. Push that right there. And bring it from where it came from. Now you get go down and get the sec well actually now the new first purple one and bring it from where it came from. Now you just get the last one. Bring it up. Now you go below this and get the first yellow one and hook it up. Go in again, get the new first yellow one. It's hard to hook. Bring it from where it came from. And the last yellow one. 
there. So now, from here to here, put it right down. Now, this will be the last time I'm showing you the pattern. So, in there, the first one If something feels awkward, just don't keep going. Check it again, put it back, and then just re take take a bit. Okay, bad things happen. Okay, problem fixed. Okay. Now I just hooked okay. I just hooked this one to that one. Now we go in here, grab the top purple one, and then hook it onto here. Go back in, second top, which is a new top one, get the last one. That was the last time I showed you, but if you still need help, you could just go back and then check. It's all the way there, it's all the same pattern, so it, nothing will change. Just keep doing it until you're to the end. Now you should pause. Okay, so now as you can see, I'm done everything, and it should look like this. Now, you just go to the bottom, take your hook, pull back the cap band, and take the first... Now you take the second one right down and then the most bottom band and then hook it up. This I I'm pretty sure those of you who are making this bracelet should be pretty advanced, so you should know how to do this. Just go all the way to the end. Okay, so now I'm done hooking. And just in case you didn't see, or I didn't put it, but you're done, you just hook this one to this one. Now you go back down and do the same thing to what you did on the other side. Okay, so now I'm done hooking all of them. And this one is to this one. So now you take a black band. Go beneath all of those, make sure you do. Put it right here onto your hook on the thickest part. I'm gonna I'm going to skip the pulling off because it takes me a long time. Okay, so right after that I just pull it off. It should look like this. Now we make the extension. It's like this, turn your loom around. Take the color of your sides or any color you prefer. And then put them like this. The no number of bands you put depends on your wrist size. I put five because that just fits me. So now I turn it around, get the cat band part, put it on, and then just like the basic or what we just did, pull back the cat band and then. Keep doing that until you're done the whole thing. Now you take a C clip and then push it down on here. Make sure you got both sides. Take it off and take this part off. Put it on right here. Okay, 
this is. I'm a bit worried because YouTube, like, to me, they are really jack really long videos, so I don't know what to do. Put the C clip on and you have your bracelet. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye!